Hi, my name is Ben Stagenga, and welcome back to the Orient Society's Countdown to Giving Tuesday. One really cool thing about eastern indigo snakes is for how large they are, they're very docile snakes. Defensive biting is something we almost never see in wild indigo snakes. But we do see a lot of other defensive behaviors. Uh, one of which, uh, which is pretty typical for most snakes, is when picked up, they'll often release a foul-smelling musk from the base of their tail. That's to make them appear unpalatable. And then uh, they'll often uh, exhale uh, pretty forcefully. Uh, it's not quite as loud as a bull snake or a pine snake, um, but it's audible. You can hear it, and that's just a, a warning saying, hey, please leave me alone. Um, beyond that, they will sometimes um, vertically flatten their neck and arch that to make themselves appear more threatening. And then occasionally you'll even have indigo snakes gaping and uh, lunging forward with an open mouth. Although, from my, my interactions with these animals, I believe that is mostly a bluff. Um, and then probably the most fascinating thing um, that is occasionally observed in indigo snakes is they will occasionally play dead. Um, the snake will go completely limp, uh, will actually hold its mouth kind of ajar, and it just lay there, uh, totally lifeless. And then once the threat has gone away, uh, the snake will resume behavior as normal. So it's quite an amazing array of behaviors that we see, and it just reinforces how incredibly special these snakes are. Now, if you're interested in helping conserve these amazing snakes, I would suggest that you uh, check out our online store. Uh, we've got some new Eastern Indigo Snake t-shirts available. Um, go ahead and pick one out and uh, maybe give some as a gift these ho this holiday season. And uh, the proceeds from those will go directly to our conservation efforts. But also ask you consider donating to the Orient Society this Giving Tuesday. It's December 1st. Um, make a donation, it'll go directly to helping these animals in the wild and protecting this landscape.